Now, the smallest number of the pigment molecules which are required as a unit to carry out the light reaction of photosynthesis is known as the photosynthetic unit, which is also called as the pigment system. Park and Benning gave the name quantosome for it because quanta means energy, soma means body. So the body which absorbs the uh, the body which absorbs the light energy is called as a quantosome. Now uh, we need to remember that these pigment system or photosystems or photosynthetic units are present in the thylakoid membrane. Thylakoid are those lamellase which are present in the stroma of chloroplast. Now each quantosome consists of 200 to 250, uh, 240 chlorophyll molecules uh, along with carotenoid molecules that means there are chlorophylls and carotenes as well as xanthophylls. All these pigments are present together uh, to the number around 200 to 240 and together all these things are called as quantosome or called as photosynthetic unit also called as a pigment system. NCRT calls it at light harvesting complex. Now the next thing is that these uh, quantosomes or these chlorophyll and carotenoid molecules they are able to harvest the light and because they are harvesting the light they are also called as the light harvesting complex and also called as the pigment system. Now uh, we need to remember one more thing here that these Harvesting molecules, there are two things in the quantosome or pigment system. NCRT also has drawn a similar type of diagram. Please refer NCRT side by side because that is your base for even your entrance level exams. So uh, when you see the diagram from the NCRT also, a light harvesting complex is made up of one reaction center. So there will be just one molecule out of these 200 to 240 molecules. There will be just one reaction center molecule and reaction center is always made up of chlorophyll A. So there will be just one molecule of chlorophyll A which acts like reaction center which I have filled in here. So this is the reaction center and all other chlorophyll A and all the chlorophyll B carotenes and xanthophylls that mean uh, now if you remember I have told you chlorophyll A is universal pigment and all other are accessory pigments. So all other accessory pigments plus one chlorophyll A molecule because that one chlorophyll A molecule is reaction center. So all other chlorophyll molecules minus that one molecule because that is reaction center and all the accessory pigments that mean chlorophyll B xanthophylls and carotenes they all together form harvesting molecule. Now what is harvesting molecule? These molecules pick up the sunlight or quanta or the light energy and they transfer. Uh, in chemistry you must have done or you must be doing the topic of resonance. So you know how the energy is transferred from one molecule to next molecule by the con concept of resonance. So the uh, harvesting molecules are made up of two types of molecules again core molecule and antennae molecule. Now all the chlorophyll A molecules which are not a part of reaction center are called as the core molecules and then chlorophyll B xanthophylls and carotenes that mean carotenoids together they are called as the antennae molecules. So there are now three things you have to understand. A pigment system is also called as photosynthetic unit. It is also called as light harvesting complex. It is situated on the thylakoid membrane and they are able to absorb the light and then there are around 200 to 240 molecules which function together as a unit. Now uh, each quantosome is made up of one reaction center which is always a single molecule of chlorophyll A and all other molecules will be called as harvesting molecules and harvesting molecules because they are the one which pick up the light and transfer so they are called as harvesting and harvesting molecules are again of two type chlorophyll A molecules are called as core molecules and chlorophyll B carotenoids together carotenoids means carotene and xanthophyll together are called as the antennae molecules. So all of these pigment molecules will pick up light and then they pass on from one to another and finally it goes to the reaction center. So uh, that means the harvesting molecules 
that means core molecule and DNA molecule they absorb the light energy and then they transfer it to the reaction center so this is how pigment system functions now uh, because we have already covered Emerson's effect I have told you that there are two types of photosystems according to Emerson one functions at lower wavelength and the other one functions at the greater wavelength so according to this concept there are two photosystem photosystem first and photosystem second so let's quickly understand the differences between these two type of photosystems so the photosystem first reaction center is P700 and the photosystem second reaction center is P680 now here 700 and 680 represents the nanometer now this exactly means but the next line makes it clear to you that this system is able to perform its maximum absorption up to 700 nanometer and this one performs up to 680 nanometer that means when a wavelength of 680 or less than 680 is used both will function but when a wavelength of after 680 that means if a wavelength of 700 690 is used then this one will function and this one will not function i hope this point is clear to you photosystem first reaction center is p700 that means it absorbs the 700 nanometer wavelength and for the photosystem second reaction center is p680 that is it absorbs the 680 nanometer wavelength of the light now photosystem first uh, is situated on the outer surface of thylakoid and is found on the stromal lamellae also as well as the non oppressed granal lamellae and this one is situated on the inner surface of the thylakoid membrane and is situated only in the oppressed region of the granal lamellae this one is involved in two types of photophosphorylation this is the next topic to study and this one is involved in the non-cyclic type of photophosphorylation this one has the NADP reduc reduction that means it basically is linked with the reduction of NADP and this one is not involved with that but it is involved with the splitting of water photolysis of water